Access Internet Explorer 2 Edits and 5 Links Username and Alpha's Password S100 Plus A Simple Quick Quiz 1% 100% List 5 and List A Simple Quick Quiz I'm Sean Leahy from Virtual University Design and Technology. Um, we're here today testing the accessibility issues with Moodle. Um, as MSU moves towards using Moodle as a course management system, we're curious as to how Moodle itself handles the different accessibility needs that the different members of the MSU community will face. Um, Al here has volunteered to uh, walk us through and actually show us a demonstration of some of the assistive technology um, and how that works with the Moodle interface. Hello everyone, my name is Al Pizzoli and I am the information technologist here at the Resource Center for Persons with Disabilities. Um, I've been at the Resource Center for about four years now and um, my role here is um, IT um, for I wear a lot of hats. I do IT uh, to keep the network running. I also work with students on assistive technology in um, this resource room as well as um, training them to use their own technologies. Um, I work with departments on campus to um, help test and diagnose accessibility issues, um, fix what's broken, just a little bit of everything. Um, well, I'm going to approach this as if I were just seeing this page for the first time and, and the first thing that I would do seeing a page for the first time is just to read it through and, and that becomes less of an issue as I my familiarity with a page increases I wouldn't do that so but the first time through I would just kind of want to hear what the elements of the page are and what are you using to actually read the elements of the page I am using uh, the screen reader I'm using at the moment is called JAWS for Windows and this is a screen reader for those with uh, blindness or very low vision. Um, there are other solutions that magnify the screen if, if there is more vision, but in this instance, this is a, a blindness product. Emily's Moodle same page link skip to main content. Heading level one, Emily's Moodle, you are logged in and link out as well. Link log out page, add list of two items, visited link home. Site pages list and same page link skip my courses. Heading level two, my courses list of one item, setting level three, link test course accessibility list of one item, testing level one, bullet teacher. Link out as well, list and testing level one, this is a test course to test out user and admin accessibility. List and search courses, go button, all courses button, list and testing. Okay, I'm going to stop it. There's a lot of stuff underneath there that I'm not going to get into right now, but um, it looks like there's a lot of markup here, a lot of heading elements and list elements and things like that and that's good for accessibility because it gives a screen reader something to reference. Um, go back to the top of the page. Emily's Moodle and I bullet link term editing off. Land, bullet link edit settings. Land, bullet users. Land, bullet link filters. Land, bullet link grades. Land, bullet link backup. And everything is here and, and the links are, are pretty self-explanatory and uh, looks like I could access any of the elements of the course that I would need to access. Let me uh, Go to this simple quiz here. Test course accessibility outline heading level. Al, can you just tell us briefly what your first impressions are of the Moodle accessibility? Sure. Um, in spending some time with this and playing with it, I've been uh, quite impressed actually. It looks like there's been a lot of forethought put into the accessibility aspects of this. Um, there's a lot of um, page elements that have been used, markups, headers, um, labeled links for toolbars. Um, there are a lot of good things. I've seen some minor glitches, um, but it is a big complicated system, so that's bound to happen. But overall, what I've seen is that nothing insurmountable is, has come up. Um, I think a lot of my confusion that has occurred has just been more of a matter of the learning curve of the system and not really so much accessibility related. Um, when I've worked through some things and, and figured out how they work, then I could do them again very easily. Um, I think overall, it looks like this is going to be a good uh, way to move. I mean, the accessibility looks like it's there. It looks like it's customizable. Um, looks like it'll give us a lot more flexibility than other solutions out there will. Cool. Um, as an advanced user on campus, how would you compare the um, ease of use of Moodle to the current content management system of Angel? Um, I think Moodle is, is superior. Um, even things like scanning through lists of messages in a forum, um, much more accessible. Um, there are a lot more elements in Angel that are not clickable, that are non-standard, and um, Moodle seems to really stay away from those things. So um, it looks like it's a lot more workable. Mm -hmm.